Kiki was one of the sweetest gorillas at the zoo. However, the vet performed an ultrasound and immediately turned pale after seeing the most shocking results of his life. When veterinarian Charles finally got into the enclosure with the giant gorilla, the animal barely even paid attention to him. It looked weak and seemed completely unable to move from its spot. Charles swallowed his nerves and started to examine the creature. It quickly became clear to him that the speculations had been right. This was not a normal case of any other pregnancy. There was also something else going on and on with this animal. He noticed that the animal was getting worse and worse. He had to act right now. He just hoped that he was not too late. But what caused this gorilla to get this big? But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Visitors had been speaking up about their concern for a while now, but it seemed like the employees of the privatized zoo just did not care about their gorilla. The staff completely ignored the comments. They said it was common for gorillas. However, they didn't know that this time they were completely wrong. It, it looked like a classic case of overfeeding to most of the visitors seeing the gorilla. But people who knew a little bit more about the zoo and its owners knew that this was very unlikely to be the case. The owners were notorious for cutting costs wherever they could, so the chances of them allowing their employees to waste so much food on an animal that was already this big was very slim. It, so the chances are that there is something else going on here. And with the employees not caring either, there seemed to be little hope for the gorilla, until someone showed up. He was not a fan of the concept, but for his kid's happiness, he was willing to make an exception. But what he saw horrified him. The next day at work, he immediately opened up an investigation into the zoo to see if he could get it to shut down based on neglect or even animal cruelty. Yet because it is a big task to investigate a zoo, he asked a colleague to help him along. He had made pictures on his trip that he was going to use as evidence, and at some point, these actually got published. And mainly, the picture of the gorilla got a lot of attention online. The photo of the sad gorilla goes viral on the internet. The photo was accompanied by the story that the animal was seemingly unable to stand up. And it seemed like she was depressive, and she even didn't eat. And all this eventually got the attention of a vet who was located fairly close to the zoo and he was shocked by the picture of the gorilla. The vet, who was named Charles, decided to call the zoo to get some more info. He was somewhat surprised when the phone was answered by a police officer. But this was a slow process. In addition, the owner of the zoo was just not happy that the entire zoo had to close. Here is where Charles saw an opportunity to get a closer look at the gorilla. When he arrived, he got briefed by the vet actually leading the efforts to help the animals. They had not yet gotten around to checking the animal out and in all honesty, it also was not high on their list of priorities. They actually already kind of gave up on the animal after seeing what state it was in. When Charles finally got to examine the gorilla, he figured out that it had actually swallowed a heap of plastic which was making it sick and causing it to swell up. According to the vet, as a vet himself, he had an ethical responsibility to all the animals. Charles nodded and turned to assist the main vet in any way that he could. He was assigned to perform health checks on all the animals that needed to be transported out that day. This would end up taking about two hours of his time. Finally, the priority animals had been sent out to their new homes, and the last of the remaining animals would be leaving in the following days. Charles was finally free to do what he had set his mind on. Charles was very excited, but he couldn't shake off the growing feeling of fear. Everyone else had resigned themselves to the death of the gorilla. Charles was more than aware that he would, would indeed be treating the gorilla alone. Charles walked slowly, not wanting to alert the gorilla. However, the gorilla ignored Charles' entire presence in the cage. Charles counted himself lucky. Even then, it was far more excessive than he had ever seen. Whatever was causing the bloating had clearly been piling up for far longer than he had initially suspected. He would need to do some further digging. It didn't take long while he was feeling for unusual pressure in the gorilla. Charles quickly noted something that alarmed him slightly. The areas below and around the gorilla were clean. Suspiciously so for an animal that had been unable to move in months. It was now clear to Charles that the problem was a digestive issue, or rather the inability to defecate. Was something blocking the intestine? There was only one way to find out surgery. Charles knew what he had to do. Wasting no time, he quickly injected the large gorilla with the sedative. Once the gorilla's breathing had stabilized, Charles carefully made the first incision. Charles knew exactly what he needed to do to get to the blockage and ease the pain. It didn't take long before he made his way to the base of what was likely causing the problem, the stomach lining that led to the gorilla's bowels. There he found massive swelling. The animal's stomach had stretched and was saturated with unreleased feces. Major Charles could see that there was something beyond the culminated waste that was causing the blockage in the first place. Charles was attentive and slow in his movement. He made sure that the entire valve was cleared out before he focused on the object that was creating the block in the gorilla's gut. In fact, he understood how the gorilla would have come to eat the object. It was a ball of plastic trays, the kind of trays that animal food was stored in. 
It was clear the zoo employees had not done their due diligence when feeding the gorilla and did not remove the transparent lining. Now that he was certain of the cause, Charles did not hesitate any further. He emptied out the plastic, careful not to damage the thin lining. With meticulous speed, he stitched up the gorilla and supplied it with enough liquid to keep it hydrated. Now they would have to hope for a safe recovery. The next day, Charles arrived a little anxious to check on his four-legged patient. He made his way quickly to the gorilla enclave and was shocked to see that the animal was already further along in recovery than he had anticipated. Again, it was a medical miracle. Charles sighed in relief. The primary vet explained that they were all shocked by the animal's recovery and thanked Charles for his help rescuing the gorilla. Charles smiled broadly. He was glad the gorilla was recovering and decided to personally nurse it while they waited for the eventual transport to the zoo that would be its new home.